The aim of this video is to support healthcare professionals and carers looking after older adults with suspected urinary tract infections or UTI. It will introduce resources that can be used to diagnose, manage and prevent UTIs in the community setting. It focuses on Public Health England's resources, a flowchart for the diagnosis and management of UTI in older adults and the target UTI information leaflet for older adults and their carers. We know that suspected UTIs are a common indication for antibiotic prescriptions in older people, especially in the care home setting. Quality improvement projects, such as the To Dip or Not To Dip project, have shown that antibiotic use may be safely reduced in this context by changing the way that UTIs are diagnosed, and we will discuss why this might be beneficial. But first, let's recap what a urinary tract infection is. The urinary tract consists of the kidneys, which filter the blood and produce urine, the ureters, which are the tubes connecting the kidneys to the bladder, where the urine is stored, and the urethra, which is the tube through which urine leaves the body. Bacteria normally live in the bowel and on the skin, but can enter the bladder by traveling up the urethra. In the bladder, they can grow and multiply and may cause symptoms of an infection. We will discuss the symptoms and signs of UTIs in older people shortly. But firstly, let's explore a bit more about the significance of bacteria in the bladder of an older person. Bacteria in the urine does not always mean an infection is present. In older people, bacteria can live harmlessly in the bladder without causing any problems. This is not an infection, as the bacteria are not causing any harm to the person and treating with antibiotics does not reduce future infections. This is called asymptomatic bacteriuria. So what proportion of older people does this affect? Studies have shown that up to 40% of older men, 50% of older women, and 100% of people with long-term urinary catheters have bacteria in their urine without signs or symptoms of an infection being present. Asymptomatic bacteriuria in older people or those with catheters does not require treatment with antibiotics. And in fact, antibiotics may cause harmful effects. Urine dipsticks are no longer recommended in the diagnosis of suspected UTI in older people. Why is this? Dipsticks cannot tell the difference between bacteria that are causing an acute infection and those that are living in the urine harmlessly. When any bacteria are present in the urine, the dipstick will usually be positive for nitrites and leukocyte esterase. There may also be other markers, such as protein and glucose, which are unrelated to infection but often present in older people for other reasons. But none of these markers tell us whether or not there is actually a urinary tract infection that may require antibiotics. For this, a clinical assessment of signs and symptoms is needed, and the National Best Practice Guidelines support this approach. But what's the harm in dipsticking? It is very difficult to ignore a positive result, even if it doesn't mean very much at all. It can be difficult to assess older people, for example, if they are confused and relying on the urine dipstick results in this setting may result in another diagnosis being missed. It can also trigger antibiotics being prescribed. Antibiotics are powerful and precious drugs. Giving an older person antibiotics when they don't need them can lead to side effects, such as rashes, stomach upsets, or drug interactions. Clostridium difficile diarrhea, or C. diff, is a life-threatening infection of the bowel caused by antibiotics. You may have heard of antibiotic resistance. This happens when bacteria are exposed to an antibiotic and then adapt so that they are no longer killed by that antibiotic. This means that antibiotics may not work in the future if the person really does need them. In fact, many older people treated with antibiotics for asymptomatic bacteriuria will suffer some type of side effect so it is important to only use antibiotics when there is clinical evidence of an infection rather than using the urine dipstick result to guide decision making. Public Health England's flowchart for the diagnosis and management of UTI in older people in primary care outlines a systematic approach to UTIs in this patient group. There are several reasons a UTI might be suspected in an older person. They may have symptoms relating to the urinary tract, for example, painful urination, However, if they are not able to communicate their symptoms clearly, they may have non-specific symptoms of infection, such as abnormal temperature or new confusion or agitation called delirium. It is important to remember 
that a positive dipstick does not confirm the diagnosis of UTI in older people with non-specific symptoms, and it is not recommended as a diagnostic tool. Smelly or dark urine are not specifically signs of a UTI, but may be signs of dehydration. In anyone with a suspected infection, always think sepsis. Consider whether any signs of sepsis are present and use your locally approved sepsis tool or policy. Hyalonephritis, which is a UTI affecting the kidneys, is a serious infection and may require hospital treatment. If sepsis or pyelonephritis are suspected, follow the advice in the next box and consider the need for hospital admission. If there is no suspicion of sepsis or pyelonephritis, use the box below to assess for signs and symptoms of a UTI. These include new onset of dysuria, pain on passing urine, frequency or urgency, needing to pass urine more often or in a hurry, new urinary incontinence, wetting oneself, delirium, new confusion or agitation, superpubic pain, pain in the lower tummy, and hematuria, blood visible in the urine. If a urinary catheter is present, check the catheter is draining and consider removing or changing if blocked. If there is new dysuria, or any two of the other signs or symptoms, then consider starting antibiotics for a UTI according to local antibiotic guidelines. Always try to obtain a urine sample in older people prior to starting antibiotics as they are at high risk of resistant infections. There are many reasons for new or worsening confusion in older people. Pinch me can be a useful reminder for other potential causes of confusion including pain, other infections, poor nutritional status, constipation, poor hydration, medication or environment changes. Check for signs of other infections, for example, chest, gastrointestinal or skin infections, if the UTI is less likely. Provide safety netting advice on what to do if the patient's condition changes or worsens and assess response to antibiotics if prescribed. Urine culture results should also be checked once available. Public Health England has produced a leaflet called the Target UTI Leaflet for older adults and their carers. This can be used with patients and their carers to explain what a UTI is, suggest ways to help prevent further UTIs, the signs and symptoms to look out for, and causes of confusion in older people, self-care options to reduce symptoms, and information on antibiotics. The safety netting advice details the signs of deterioration, including sepsis, that patients and carers should look out for when diagnosed with an infection. How can dehydration be prevented? Adults should drink enough fluid to keep the urine colour pale and avoid feeling thirsty. This is around 1.5 to 2 litres per day unless they have been advised to restrict their fluid intake. So we have now discussed UTIs, how they occur and how bacteria in the urine does not always mean an infection is present. The Public Health England flowchart on suspected UTIs in older people and how to use it. The target UTI leaflet for older adults and their carers and the importance of adequate hydration. These resources are free to access and can be printed out if required. By using the approaches discussed in this video, we hope that you feel more confident in diagnosing and managing UTIs in older people, preventing dehydration, and the importance of using antibiotics carefully and safely.